hi guys this is Karen welcome to another video and today we're just getting ready together and chatting I washed my hair last night and just went to sleep with wet hair which I hate to do but it was late by the time I got out of the shower and I was tired and really didn't have time to straighten my hair so we're going to do all of that today straighten my hair just you know chat maybe a regular get ready with me i'm using this kind of brush a uh, brush it's definitely not a brush yeah definitely okay so i just comb my hair with the comb and I love to use the one that has a large, what do you call these? Forgot, but you see the point. Yeah, they're large and it's very easy to straighten and comb my hair. Okay, now I have to protect it, so I'm using this guy by Amika. This is the shield anti-humidity spray so I usually just spray my hair with it so it won't be ruined so much by the hot ah oh, the heat not hot by the heat of the straightener so I am just coating my hair with this Amica and now I'm ready now I'm taking a clips that arrives with the straightener and I'm just taking my hair up like that so we're just doing it in two rounds you can say so I'm just taking the clips and now I can even add more shield. It has a lot of material inside, but the spray doesn't want to come out so much. I don't know why. Maybe it's clogged. Okay, now I'm taking the straightener. I'm also using a um, straightener by Amika. This is... I have it... I think about three years now. So pretty happy with it. I'm not putting it on maximum heat. So you have here, I don't know I can, how can I show it to you because it's inside so you won't be able to see but there is a dial for the heat so I'm not putting it on max. I'm just putting it halfway so it won't be so so hot. So I'm just taking the straightener with the comb and just straightening my hair. I find that when I'm using the comb together with the straightener, it helps. As you can see, it's not easy on all sides of the hair, especially when I'm doing it alone by myself, which is usually what happens. But I do try because it's. I find that when I'm using the comb, it's easier. So let's go Let's just finish this side and go to the other side. So the 100% we will go over it again. So again, I'm taking the comb, taking the straightener and just straightening my hair. And the comb really helps to guideline guideline where I'm supposed to go and as I said it's not sometimes it's not that easy to use the comb and the straightener so if I have places that it's hard to use the comb then I'll put it aside and my hand will be the guide but if I can I do prefer using the comb you can see that was simple and my hair is straight okay 
Now let's take off the clips here. And now let's just comb the hair again. Because just by putting it in the clips, it just ruined everything. So yeah, that's because I have curly hair, as you can see. Again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking my curler, taking the comb and just straightening my hair. I need to go to do my hair, color it, I don't know, style it. I don't like it. It's bad. So I'll do that soon. I really have to. It looks really, really bad. So if it's hard, then I'm just taking a small part. I'm taking the comb where, okay. <laughs> it's easier to do it in front of the mirror than in front of the camera. And I'm just doing it like that. And this side, Again, I'm just taking this side here, and if I'm having trouble with the comb, I'll just leave it. It's not a must, it just helps, that's it. So, it just helps me, you know, with guideline, as a guide. And when I'm combing and then using the straightener, I don't know why, but it's easier, it makes my hair straighten easier easily now I have here this section here which is curly and I'm just continuing like that until my everything is straightened okay so here we'll take the comb and the straightener and follow along. For some kind of reason, this side is curlier and takes longer. I don't know why, but it always happens. On this side, I honestly don't understand why, but this side takes longer. And as you can see, I'm just taking... Oh, now there is a tie. Yeah. <laughs> there is... Whoa, a humongous tie here. I have to untie it to continue. This is a bummer. But that happens with the spray. Spray is helping that to happen. So, again don't need that side. I'm taking this comb and again. Now because I'm not using very high heat then my hair is not hot. I'm using medium heat because when you use too much heat then it ruins the hair. Hair particles basically. Well, that's what I heard anyways. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not really sure if that's true, but that's what I heard. So, just taking it and helping. Comb really helps. Now, we can see where I have some leftovers and that needs to be straightened. Let me use my mirror for a second. And this is it. I can see it. As you, see, you can see here. This side is... I don't know how to say it. It takes longer. I don't know why. It's not that I have more hair on one side. It doesn't make any sense, does it? This is the same amount of hair on this side and this side. I don't know why this side always takes me longer. Maybe because
because I leave it to last and I don't have any more energy to continue with it. I don't know. I'm really deliberating if to keep my color of my hair a bit red or to dye it brown. Blonde? No, I don't think I'm a blonde person. I don't think it will be complimentary for me to do blonde. Well, I guess that's it, right? Everything here is done. So that was about 10 minutes, I guess. Just Checking to see if there is something here that I forgot, maybe behind me, which I can't see, I can only feel. Let's do it again, just, you know, to be on the safe side, because <laughs> sometimes it happens and <laughs> I have more curls at the back and my husband is making fun of me. Hey, you can't do your hair right, you're still you have curls. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, look here, here. Oh, we found more. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> found more. That needs to be ironed. Well, I have this one, as I said, about three years now. And I do think that it is... Well, it's not like it used to be when it was new, kind of. And also, when it was new, I always used it on very high heat. I don't know, wasn't aware of it, or didn't want to be aware of it, or forgot about it. But it kind of ruins the hair if you do it on very high heat. So, I used to do it on very high heat. And it does ruin the hair, because my hair is very, very dry and... I hate it. I mean, if I wouldn't use conditioner or a mask when I'm shampooing my hair, it will be disastrous. I mean, what you saw now, before I started st straightening it, is after conditioner, of course. Okay, I had enough. I think 12 minutes or so. Is definitely enough so let's just close it and put it aside to get cool yep like that okay so hair is ready now I can start of course I already applied my routine all the creams and serums and everything and eye cream so everything is down and now let's do the face now you can see that i have a lot of pigmentation here and a lot of pigmentation here and it's ugly it's just disgusting and i hate it but i found that the best way is to take a concealer before I apply my foundation. So I have a few opened concealers here and I'll just grab the first one that was the sharp tape, the tart shape tape. Yeah. I'm just adding it above the pigmentation before applying my foundation that really helps for me I have here and look at this disgusting pimple that I have here which hurts so much so I have less on this side than that side so that's it I just added it doesn't really matter sometimes I use my elf or my l'oreal I have the L'Oreal Inflammable, more than concealer. I have the e.l.f. I have two options. I have the Hydrating Camo Concealer 
and the 16 hours camo concealer and i also have here by mac this is the 24 hour studio fix the only one that i'm not using for this purpose is my it cosmetics bye bye under eye just because this is very very light shade for me so I just give it a few minutes like this and just go over it with my sponge and this is the first step now I want to add some primer to the rest of my face I'm using my milk hydro primer Hydro Grip Primer, sorry. And I am just adding it with my finger. I need it especially where the mask is going to hit my face. So I am adding it above the concealer. And of course, on the chin. The only thing I have on my face now, well, before I applied everything, was um, a lip balm. Okay, now I am ready to apply my foundation. Now I'm using the same one. I think this one can go here. Yeah, I'm using the same one because I really want to... I don't love having too many foundation opened i mean sometimes i'm watching the clutters or organization of makeup and i see people that have a lot of foundation opened i don't like that i really don't like it because uh foundation has in my opinion a short uh, shelf life i don't like using foundation that are open for a long time it makes me wanna okay if it makes any sense I'm using my color pop this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic hydration hydration foundation and my shade is 70w light 70w so I'm taking one pump on the back of my hand my damp sponge I haven't wetted it since yesterday so it's not very very damp so I just adding foundation above the concealer and of course above the primer I'm not using concealer under my eyes so I'm just adding from the foundation And you can see that it covered, can you see, above the brow and on my face. And you can't see the pigmentation. So this is the technique I've been using recently. And I really, really like it. Now for the eyelids, I'm using my MAC Paint Hood in Soft Ochre, just taking my brush and adding it to the lid. This is my favorite product from MAC. I tried their foundation. Uh, well, I bought MAC last time before COVID. December of 2019 and I bought this paint pod but I haven't you know I used it at the beginning and then I forgot about it so and now I can't get get enough of it I love it so much and I bought the concealer you, you just saw and their foundation from the same studio fix wasn't a fan of the foundation it was okay and it costs so much then you know I prefer Colourpop which is much more affordable than the MAC which is very unaffordable okay so now everything is done before I apply my 
a powder I like spraying some of the same color pop pretty fresh but this time is the hyaluronic setting mist so I'm just shaking it and spraying and just allowing it to dry and as you can see you can't see my pigmentation if you remember before especially on this side it was wow that was what it was it was wow now before powder i want to add some uh milk bronzer and i have my milk stick this is in the shade baked if i'm not mistaken this is a cutie small one and I really love it. This is a bronzer stick. So I am just bronzing. This is a bronzer, not a contour. So I just want to warm my face. So at the perimeter of my face, so to speak. This is really, really cute. Look at that. Adorable. And I'm taking my same sponge. I'm going to start here because it has a tendency of drying really really quickly so I am working quick that's it this is before I'm plowing, applying the powder and now I'm using another Colourpop and this is not a Colourpop oriented video it just turned out like that <laughs> I don't know why I'm just taking my powder this is the setting setting powder banana something like that I just you know let's see the full name just in a second and I'm just powdering my face try not to powder my under eye area okay and now we can see the name now we can see the name that was this no filter setting loose set setting loose setting banana that's what it says setting is twice i love it as well and now i'm powdered now we can complete everything else let's do brows for brow i have this cutie this is so cute. This is by Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow. I got it. Okay, you can see that's so small. This is um, a travel size, but I love using it. It has a perfect color for me. So I'm just applying it to the brows. Just like that. I've never been a type that does a lot to the brows so I'm not going to change that now so I'm just I want you to see my brows so I'm just covering them with some color and this is really really cute I don't know if I will buy the full size um, no, I'm not going to buy the full size. I like it, it's cute, but I have others that are cute that are more affordable. And the battery is just starting to show its signals, but I don't think I will finish my video before. I guess the battery will die before I'll finish this video, but never mind. Let's start. I want to start with a highlighter. And I have a highlighter. Which one? Oh, I wanted to use this. Well, I have all my highlighters here. I, have a, I don't know if you know what I bought an Alex from Ikea. It's a tall drawer set and I have all my makeup here beside me, which is very, very comfortable. So I'm using my Nabla. This is the skin glazing in the shade Amnesia. And I'm going to use this one to apply my highlighter. So I'm just going to take my brush 
and add some highlight to my cheekbones and on the other side very light handed and look at that wow-ness factor definitely wow-ness factor <laughs> well I want to try my Dior this is my Dior backstage rosy glow and in the shade 001 pink oh i forgot to use my powder no powder well never mind another time okay this guy you have to be very very gentle with it because if you put too much it's going to be a lot now what i'm doing is i'm just taking with my brush applying it to the cheeks and just waiting waiting for it to develop and then I figure out if I want more because I don't want to add too much because otherwise it will be first time I used it I forgot that the soaps person told me to wait before applying more coats because it takes time to develop and then I look just like a clown okay now I want to use my bronzer bronzer why bronzer bronzer well this is again by Nabla this is called this is the skin bronzing in soft revenge this is it it's relatively new I have been using it I just take out the battery died and I had to change it so I am now using my bronzer this is again by Nabla this is the skin bronze bronzing in soft revenge this is the shade name and this is how it looks like this is beautiful shade and just taking my bronzer brush and just taking a bit too much and just adding adding my bronzer taking a bit more and you can see that I don't need more blush this is enough there is no need to add more blush this is so beautiful <laughs> oh my god I love this well, the your backstage I am keeping it in its box because you know I don't have a lot of Dior makeup so why not keep it like that okay so now we have to do only an eye look and something for the lips now I have a lip balm mm, what kind what do I want to do with my lips maybe we'll do eyes first and then we'll decide what we want to do with the lips so let's take beauty bay palette why not tiny marvels by cindy grace and mel thompson this is gorgeous look at that there's a big mirror and these are so beautiful okay so beautiful I almost dropped it okay I have to do something with this this is just so pretty I'm going to combine Louvre bug and tree hopper so this is love bug Louvre bug something like that and this is forgot the name tree hopper so I'm just going to combine both of them tiny bit of each and adding it 
oh creased i creased so just need to correct it with the same brush that i used to apply it and now let's add a transition shade above the crease and again taking from Luvbug and tree hopper tipping off the axis and just applying it above the crease Can we do an all matte look? <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not really sure I can do all matte look. I'm kind of feeling it for now, doing an all matte look. I don't know why. I just feel like doing an all matte look. Okay, now let's take a flat brush, which is clean, that will be appreciated. I'm using my Spectrum A07 and I'm going to take Bug a Boo. What strange names? Bug a Boo. This is it here. It's a burgundy. And combine it together with Spider, which is the dark brown next to it. So I'm just combining these two shades. <laughs> These are colorful. Okay, look at that. This is just gorgeousness. Look at that. This is so gorgeous. I'm going to do it again for the other side. Bugaboo and spider. And repeat. On the other side so I am deliberating these days if to keep my channel alive or not I really don't know I do like it as I said in all my others well not all the other videos but as I said before I am doing it for fun but you know even if I'm doing it for fun I want people to watch my videos so, kind of frustrating that not a lot of people are watching my videos. Okay, now I want to take, I really hope it's back from the cleaners, yes it is, my Refer 02 brush and take the same shade, Spider and Bugaboo and add them to the lower lash line. I love this. brush for the lower lash line been looking for a long time for a brush that i would love for the lower lash line and it took me a long time to find this brush and when it's in the cleaners it really bumps me okay now i am deliberating because i want to do an all matte look so I'm deliber deliberating between Jewel B and Flutterby, which are these two shades here that these are matte. So let's try this one. This one is called Jewel B. I usually apply shimmer to the inner corner of my eye. So let's try with a matte. Let's see if I like it. You know, we have to change and learn and do new things and see if we like them. And if we won't try, we will never know if we like it. Maybe it will be better than a shimmer. Because I usually apply shimmers to my inner corner, usually, well, almost always. Let's say 99 times out of 100. And this is the one, <laughs> I guess. I don't remember me doing a lot of looks when I'm not using a shimmer. 
in my inner corner. Well, maybe when I'm doing a halo, I'm not using a shimmer in the inner corner, but I am using a shimmer in the middle. So, a all matte look, it's out of my comfort zone. So I'm just taking it slightly above the dark shade. Just to make the transition smoother. And I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Hmm, that's a lot nice. But I am missing a matte white. There is no matte white because the white here is a pearl shimmer. Let's look for another palette that has a matte white to add to the inner corner. Okay, so let's look. I didn't find a white but I did find a light shade and I found it at Stone Cold Fox. I have so many palettes and I just didn't want to go over all of them. I have this shade here which is a matte light. It's not white kind of skin tone I guess so let's try it it's called Lux we said all matte so ooh, it's too much it's definitely too much okay we need to take a blending brush and blend it a bit I guess that the mats are not best applied with the finger, but now look, this is beautiful. It really added something. Okay, so thank you, Stone Cold Fox, for saving the day. <laughs> well, I'm almost done. I just need to do my lips. Where will we go with the lips? I think a brown? No. A movie, movie shade, definitely. Okay, let's take this shade. This is by Catrice. This is their, what is it called? I forgot. This is the Demi Matte. Yeah, now I remember the Demi Matte. This one is in the shade 080. And just like edit. On top of the bum. I didn't take off the bum. Oh, this is so strange. In the camera, it looks a bit different. Oh, I didn't use liner. Never mind. Forgot. Well, this is it. Oh! Okay, guess what I almost forgot. What can't you see? Can't see my lashes because I forgot to apply mascara. So let's add mascara. So I'm using as usual. Well, this is another thing for me personally. I don't have a lot. I don't like having a lot of mascaras open. I have a lot of mascaras here. Where did I put all my mascaras? Here at the back. To you. Uh, if I can take it out. Yeah. Look how many mascaras I have. Box full of mascaras. Yeah. Some I used at least once or twice, and others I'm just. I'm not using because I don't want to open a new mascara. I don't like opening a lot of mascaras. Mascaras have a very short life. Their shelf life is about three months. And, you know, it takes me a long time to go over a mascara. Sometimes even more than three months. And if I have a few open, then I will never be able to finish mascaras. So this is the Golden Rose False Lashes Mascara. I have another one open, so I always have two. The other one I have is from Flormar. 
triple mascara, triple action mascara. And I don't love it, don't like it. But this one I do like. And let me know what you think about this all matte, all matte look. Is it nice that I broke the comfort zone? Just adding a tiny bit to the lower lash line. But I don't think that the lipstick that I have on is the one that I wanted. I wanted something more... more movie. I don't like it. It doesn't fit with the look well, I've been digging my stash and found this one. This is Switch Up uh, Dual Lipstick and Gloss by AWB Makeup. This one is in the shade Victoria. So let's just add it. It's definitely more appropriate. It is more properly mauve. Okay, so I added, and I'm going to add from the gloss. Mm hmm, definitely better. Yep. That the other one was a bit too burgundy. This one is a bit more purple mauve. Definitely better with the look I have. Well, this is the final look. It turned out to be a get ready with me and some tricks. The one that I showed you with the concealer. And we played with new makeup and old makeup. I know that I had a lot of fun, but I don't know if you had a lot of fun watching this video. So, how will I know? First of all, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And write something in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy this video? Do you like it when I do this kind of get ready with me? That I combine, you know, not just makeup, but just some hair tips. I don't know. Do you like it? You enjoy it? I have no idea. If you won't tell me, I won't know. So write something in the comment section down below. Like this video if you liked it, of course. And if you have any comments or something to say, then write it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video. And with that said, let's look at the look again. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Oh, look at this blush. I love this Dior backstage. This is just perfect, perfect, perfect perfection. Okay, so thumbs up, something in the comments, subscribe if you haven't done it before, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.